Within the last year, a program called Lights On has gotten a lot of media attention. That's thanks to the brain of the operation, Principal Akbar Cook of Westside High. Essentially, how did this program get started and what was kind of the reason behind it? So the program Lights On started because I was looking at kids and gun violence. And it seemed like every summer, there was something going on during those peak hours of 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. So we decided to open up West Side Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. And once we started going during the school year, we haven't lost any more kids to gun violence. It's just amazing that I get to come back home with these great things, you know, for, for, for a place that I grew up on these same streets and, uh, you know, doing things for kids that look the same like me. Has any other principals in your area or nationally come to you and say, listen, I like what you're doing. We need to do something like this too at our school. Yes, the love has been born from all over the world. Uh, I just had something from Oxford. I spoke at Harvard. Uh, Yale wants to adopt the lights on programs in the Haven uh, area. It's nonstop love. It's just been this like love roller coaster since you know it came out and uh, I'm loving every minute of it. But yes, more pressure to reach out and we try to get it to other areas. There was so many people saying, oh, you was on Ellen. I was like, yeah, I was on Ellen. They said, no, Ellen, Ellen. I said, yes, Ellen, Ellen. <laughs> the call from Ellen just was so surreal. So when Oprah called, it was like, wow. And I had like those anxiety moments <laughs> until, the, until those calls came. I mean, I, I mean, what do you say? I mean, you know, it's, just, it's been amazing. So with that money that Oprah and Ellen has given you, what does that provide for these students? I want to use the funds to, to, to navigate that, uh, I want to say, roadmap to success at the uh, high school. How has your courses in education helped you in your career that you're in now? All of my education courses I did at Florida Atlantic University, and I, and I found myself, you know, on academic probation. And I want to say that the good folks at the Retention Center at, at, at FAU, it helped me through tough times. I lost two of my family members, and I thought I was going to drop out. And the folks there at FAU didn't let me drop out, and they, and they got me to a degree. And it's so funny that you know, here's this kid that was struggling in the education department. You know, now it's like one of the people that you know people are asking to come talk to about education. So I owe that all to FAU, just sticking with me through a tough time and just being that, that real family. So I, I have all my hats off to, to FAU and what they did. I'm going to finish with this. Are you as good of a basketball player today as you were when you were here at FAU? <laughs> uh, no, definitely not. <laughs> I, uh, I'm older now, Brick, so I still can play. I still can dunk and all that, but that, that next two months, I'm going to pay the price. <laughs>